earlier on we were in the US side so tonight we're going to be talking about the uh, how to look into the market such that it, what we have right now it's been a very very bullish uh, condition that we have both for the US market and right now it's happening on the Malaysian market and on the KFC side we also be looking at a couple of ways where we can see it taking opportunity trading the VSA way uh, where you can really trade fearlessly understanding you know the risk and reward in here and also present you for a bullish case why the KLCI would go higher and where the opportunity is. now of course if you look at it last week we were talking about KLCI were able to play catch up because it was one of the worst performer in here but having said that you, you can see right now where we are on the KLCI here and in terms of the country uh, you can see from here the KLCI definitely will have to rise because you can see uh, compared to China, uh, MCHI and uh, EWM, these were more of uh, a catch up game they are playing, right? Compared to EWS, which is the, in terms of Singapore and Indonesia were the best performer. But if you look in terms of overall, the best country ETF still remain to be Vietnam. That is definitely one place you want to be, you know, uh, putting your money in here. Vietnam VNP plus 21 percent, and it is benefiting from the U.S. China trade war, where many of the operations uh, has moved over to the China uh, to the Vietnam side in here. Now, also two weeks ago, we are talking about the KLCI for the last uh, six months, all negative, right from January to uh to june in here but for the month of july one percent and we also talk about it the KLCI will catch up and lo and behold it's already up three percent from last week where we see and right now it's minus 3.84 and i do think that there are many months this market is going up so the second half of 2023 is going to be good year and following that there is still a lot of room for this market to go higher yeah and uh one of the things that really caught my eye was this news by this uh, fund manager that was uh, following Tom Lee and he talked about the big figure that came out on the 12th of July which is the last session that we have about the inflation figure which actually saw a significant drop. So he said that the, the S&P 500 will push higher and lo and behold it went past 4,005 and uh, this one of the reason why is because the core inflation is really coming down. If you look back uh, for the month of uh, June, the inflation really dropped from 4 to 3. And let's see this month, uh, in the coming two weeks, how much will it drop and the significance of it. Will Parley, this gentleman, yeah, this fella in here, Jerome Powell, whether he is likely to pause interest rate or not. But because of all this, we also noticed one of the things is the the market uh, is always front running and we coupled with the uh, so-called background of the news and the green pentagon you can pretty much have a good feel where this market is going going up now despite it is we are seeing sign of weakness as the market going up so that means the market may turn up going up on the wall of worry but of course those of you who have got in a bit earlier you can also see that the railway track which is this two moving average continue to parlay upwards and this is where the market is likely to push up now starting this kind of chart will give you advantages as many of our members uh, has already done so or even those of you who are the smart Roby users will continue to benefit and use this in your favor all right now let's look at also for the month of uh, uh july the meeting call where the uh, the a lot of analysts and the bankers are predicting whether there is going to be a rate hike. The Wall Street agreed that Fed must raise this interest rate and get over with it. So which means going forward for the next half of the year, there isn't any more interest rate hike. Isn't that great, isn't it? That's what we are all was really hoping for, uh, 25 basis point. But I do think that uh, the Jerome Powell you know, may agree with the consensus in here and follow everybody in and uh, as such that this small 25 basis high is already been priced in and the market can really go up from here now of course uh, the background behind it why they cannot pause is because it still remain to be very, very hot uh, the inflation the core pcm figures versus the personal consumption the core pcm are some of those uh, inflation figures that generally are the uh, less 
able to be controlled like petrol prices and also electric city. So these are one of the big, big concerns uh, that they have. And raising this 25 basis point in the month of July will probably bring it down. It's still stubbornly high, but they have to bring it down to below 3% in here. So if you can see right now, the NASDAQ chart has already reached a high and turned uh, red Pentagon. This is also due to the Netflix and also previously uh, Netflix and uh, one more, the Netflix and another company, can't remember of, uh, that actually showed very slow in their earnings. Uh, but then Alphabet came in nicely uh, yesterday as well as Microsoft. Microsoft did fall a bit because it was there was some slow in their cloud computing in here, but the uh, AI uh, dr drive for the Alphabet intend to push up in here. So what is going to be happening is likely the NASDAQ will likely turn green Pentagon and retest back to the old high. Then the question will remain, can it break for the third time like what we saw for the uh, Dow Jones? Now on the KLCI side, uh, market continue to go up because there was this huge amount of buying. Uh, the last few rounds, if you add them up, they are close to about 1 billion net buying. So definitely this is part of the reason we're seeing this is because the uh, weakening of the US dollar and on going forward, they are forecasting that the ringgit will get stronger. So any money that they convert right now to ringgit and cash out later in the coming weeks or month will be favorable for them. And that's why we see foreign funds are flowing in. If you look at it, technically there isn't any uh, change between the governments or local state election in here. But one thing foretelling is that when you see the market is extremely low when you have the double bottom in here. here right? So the same thing right now, when you see very, very high uh, foreign fund flow market may turn or so right but just keep in mind that these kind of thing do happen and when they happen we are ready for that and one of the reason why is because we do see a lot of up trust uh, on the charts every here so the weakening of the us dollar uh, is likely uh, forecasting a no rate hike going into the second half of 2023 right so with that People are looking for a weaker US dollar. Of course, I also want a weaker US dollar. Wherever we go, our ringgit is so small, huh? uh, cannot do anything at all. So a weaker US dollar will be good, but you can see from here, the 4.65, you have a double top. It may come back down and retest the 440 level in here. In terms of the comparison with the other players, huh? the other countries, uh, Malaysia and Euro was one of the worst performer in here. The Japan uh, also same thing also uh, has uh, weakened in here. The US compared to relatively to our neighbors, Sing dollar and Thai baht Malaysia has really performed uh, much worse off in here. And hopefully the local state ele uh, state election will uh, iron out everything. So one of the things that we want to do the trade VSA way right, is actually using the screener in here. Look for some stocks. Now these are something that I covered extensively in our live uh, trading, in our live uh, weekly trading and we, we did a couple of stocks on Monday with our members in here. So some of you may have missed out, but just want to share with you. One of the screener we are looking for is the 18 day line chain. And uh, one stock that came in mind is the Air Asia stocks, okay? So if you look from the Air Asia stocks, we have this, uh, and one of the ways we're gonna be looking at is uh, read this, is to sort them out, all right? So we have many columns. So one of the columns, very important, is the ST and the LT, which is we want them to be in green color. So when it's green color, that means it is above the support, it's bullish. When it's momentum, it's even better. But uh, right now, I think uh, for those of you who are risk aversive, you might want to stay to the green one. The back tested for best result, uh, ST, uh, the ST, above the minus five where it's still green and the lt above uh minus 0 0.5 those are your best uh, in here so from here onwards we also look into the percentage this still percentage is also important to see how much that's the market has run, right? It's a good range to monitor. When the numbers become too excessive, you don't want to be looking at this. Uh, you just want to be, be less than a couple of percentage. I'm going to share with you how to do that. So one of the things that we're looking at is the demo. All right, uh, let's take a look at it, at the demo here. So let me just log into Trade VSA. All right, just log in to our system here. 
So once you log in, you go over to the screener and you go to the Pentagon Guider. Right, and we go back. We, what we want to do is read tonight. We are the screener is already up. We want to go back to the 24th, okay? 24th, and uh, this is where we talk about those has moved up. You can see, right? 24th market started to move up here, all right? So this is why we don't want to you know, buy those shares and stuff because some of this eventually the market's going to move. So what the next thing we want to do is to plug in the uh, minus 0 0.5, and uh, then we want to plug in the minus 5, okay? Minus 5. And uh, there you go, uh, 0 0.5, and then you have uh, minus 5. Okay, so once you have that, you just sort it out by turnover, by the volume, and that pretty much gives you where we are. So you can see VS, and we just need to mouse over them. This is for the 26, huh? 26. You can see, uh, just turn green pentagon. Oh, that's a nice one in here. And we have Volcano, also turn green pentagon. Uh, we can see here. Uh, Genting Plantation turned Green Pentagon in here. This is uh, NetX, Boiler Mac also turned Green Pentagon. But remember, we want to go back a few days where you can see this chart. So we're going to go back to the, uh, maybe let's take a look at 20th, see if we can get anything on the 20th. Uh, see, 20th already started to move up. Remember on Monday, we were talking about uh, uh, Silver Ridge. So you can just mouse over it here. All right? And you can see some of those again. Uh, we just apply this, minus 0 0.5. And then minus five and then from here onwards you can really narrow down to the volume too okay so once here you have rapid right you can look at the chart rapid this is 22 dollars too expensive i don't think you the trade too small volume here let's do this uh, turnover again hectare global right was the stock but he hasn't moved up yet it came back down silver rich was quite good artronics artronic is 77 cents you can see right here but you can see from the chart uh, it was going down and this is something not one yearly also go down and wait for the pullback up uob okay ah uh, this uoa a uh, dollar 73 not that nice uh. jaya tiasa ah uh, this one is a pullback we want it to close the pullback then we can go in uh, as you can see westport decided to make u turn and go down tomel uh, is ready to move up tomel is pretty good 110 in here volume 8000 tomel which is a goal you can see right here right that that kind of chart ready to push up right because we want to see after green pentagon well supported hasn't run yet ready to push up in here so this was on the 20th. Let's take a look at 24th, right? I saw one chart and you can put in the uh, minus 0 0.5 and minus 5 here, right? And uh, we'll sort by volume. Okay, so you can see from here, TMC Live. Okay, TMC Live. Did it has any movement in here? Yes, it started to move up, right? TMC Live, 62 cents after the green pentagon holding up. So this is maybe a good opportunity, TMC Live. Uh, today, almost unchanged whether you'll start to move up or not but you can see on the left hand side here all right the volumes are much much lower over here huh? so this is one way so i just like to pick anything that's above 50 cents tmc live uh lt this is uh every cultural two is there's nothing over the left hand side here i don't like that a asia x not too bad see a asia x the market hold on and uh, let's go back uh, a asia x you can look at a wider chart so i can bring in the trading view All right, just bring out the trading view now here. Just make this a bit bigger. And now we're going to switch to uh, AirAsia X. This is a four hour chart, so we switch to a daily chart here. And you can see right now, this is a good opportunity, right? Well supported here. Pull, pull back yeah, let's take a look if the market were to move the next two or three days that's where you want to be the other stock that we were looking at was silver rich just now that we picked from there you can see our uh, markets going up but we have to be careful this one is really a smart money uh counter uh. so once a smart money counter you can see i uh, take the old high here and tomorrow once this thing blow through it but volume is getting lower so i have to be careful uh. this one can make you turn and come back one but who knows if we do turn up when started the push up, we ride with it. Yeah, okay. This is how we look at it. So Air Asia X. Uh, any other stocks? If you find any other stocks, you want to four hundred. It's, it's uh, volume is too small. Okay, we want to pick those volume that is quite decent. 
Zikon, 39 cents. Apollo Food, this one is a bit boring. Lah. Okay, so nothing on the 24th. Can we go to 25th? Right, we can go to 25th or so and look at 25th. And the same thing, we apply uh, minus 0 0.5, ST minus 5, and then we sort out all the uh, turnover. Okay, we move out turnover. You can see Ren Hill. Okay, Ren Hill, let's take a look at it, 56 cents. Uh, Ren Hill, after push up, I got up trust, but usually up trust, the market will start to move back down. So we keep this at night. We can put this in our uh, Ren Hill, okay, into our notification, right, and we set it in there, all right, to 63 cents. Uh, no, we want to see where is the uh, Ren Hill, uh? okay, let's see where we are. So Ren Hill. If we do break 59 cents, uh, take out this old high, maybe somewhere around here, 58 cents, uh, it'll, it'll, I'll be interested. Okay, Ren Hill. So we want to set up a uh, alert for Ren Hill. So Ren Hill alert 58 cents, okay? 58, and this will be stop to monitor, okay? Let's take a look also to the risk reward. Okay, not. Okay, 1.6 to 1, so this is also good. So our trade VSA has all the re uh, reward to risk, so you're aware of those things in here. Huh? Okay, let's take a look. This one is done. Okay, let's go back to the next stock that we have. Okay, let's go back to our screener here. And see what else we got on the 25th. All right, so we found one share. We just put it in there and we go back to our minus 0 0.5, minus 5 here, right? And uh, see anything else. Uh, Ren Hill, Batu Kawan, $21, the one. Uh, Uni Trade, 20, 28 cents, we don't want. You can see that $22. Sarawak Plantation, okay? This one not too bad. This one, plant Sarawak Plantation. Okay, and we have master. Ah, master not too bad. Ah, two sixty-seven. You can see, ah, green pentagon. A nice move here. Okay, so master is something you want to take a look. Okay, so YH uh, property. No, don't. I don't like it. This one, you know, open up then get back down. Too volume, too low. Also not so good. Ah, master pack maybe not. You can see, ah, one thousand five hundred only volume. Ah, too too low. Well, every time when you see very little volume, susah lah, mau keluar. Ah. Uh, that's not good. So there's nothing in here. 26, definitely a lot, but you can go back to 20th. Okay, 20th. You can see from the 20th, I think Silver Ridge was the one. We put in the uh, 0 0.5 and we put in minus 5 here. And now uh, we go by volume again. And you can apply the same thing, Atronics. Okay, and this one after from last Friday, uh, Atronics Yili, 36 cents. You can see this is the one, the volume that we want to. Artronics, despite having the green pentagon, no move up. And that's why we want to see those in here. This one, we have to wait for it to go back up to 36 cents, right? So it goes up, come back down, show a bit of weakness, and then punch through. That's what we want to eat, all right? So this is the demonstration of our pen. Now, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, feel free to pencil those in there, and I'm happy to take a look at them and apologize earlier for our uh, uh, power trip that I have from my house here okay so let's take a look at the us are they still under value huh? the microsoft and the nvidia now definitely from what you've seen on the smart roby above in here you can see uh nvidia is overvalued 212 times and uh s p 500 or microsoft is still okay it's 35 times in here for microsoft as well as uh, apple is 32 times huh? 32 times at uh when you see the sector average is 72 all right, 72 in here. So from here onwards, the intrinsic value at 10% discount, if you go to, it's 362, okay? 362, which is pretty, uh, closing now is 332, uh, last round that we did in here. Now, if you go back, these are the stocks that you want, going back to February 22nd, SAML, Intel, MAMD in here. So the question always is, can I get in back on this? Oh, we've got a few stocks we want to be looking at. Yep, we're going to look at them. Rosmadi at the end of it. But what we want to do now is to use the four hour Pentagon guidance chart. All right, maybe we will look at the uh, our fellow, okay, for our member uh, of a public, sorry. Okay, uh, MRCB. 
So let's take a look at MRCB. Now, if you look at MRCB, uh, I hope that you have bought earlier. Lah. Follow the green pentagon. Much, much earlier down here. This is where you'll be buying 31 cent. But around here, you can see lots of weaknesses. Up trust. Time to take some profit lah, because you got up trust. Climatic volume, not so good. Lah. Here is good. Somewhere around here is good. All right. And uh, so what you want to do, uh, uh, Rosmadi, is switch to a four hour chart. You can see uh, four hour chart. If you have kind of resistance over here, uh, you, you just have to be a bit careful in here. Four hour or you can switch to a one hour. You can see first thing first uh, at two o'clock started to sell off already. Huh? Three percent in here. The morning twelve o'clock was a push. You can see climatic volume had to be very careful. Climatic volume uh, pull back. You want to have a bit more. So that, that's why you want to use the uh, intraday chart if you want to monitor this. Next one is uh, we look at Excel Force. You go to a daily chart. Excel Force already a goner. Lah. You can see this one here. After one hour, uh, the after yeah, three o'clock, uh, there will be some news uh, force that the market to sell down here. Just waiting for the volume to come up out here. Uh, not sure what, what news. You can check it out in here. Anybody know any news on Excel Force? Definitely this one, uh, I think, will be a long while. After all, the market actually pushed up a lot since the green pentagon to here. You can see, right? The, the key thing, I think you remember all members, uh, always try to enter early in the stage two. That's why we, we showed you uh, using the trade VSA way. Look at the green pentagon, four or five days, those hasn't run yet. Pick up those. And once they move sideways, you punch through, that's the one you want to be. But at this junction here, no chance, it is. then you fall into this trap. huh? Make sure you understand what I'm talking about here. Huh? So that's the way to go. All right, we got uh, uh, YTL power. I hope you bought it a bit earlier and not at this price. Or you're looking to take profit. That would be great. So YTL on the daily chart still looks good. Okay, you can see take out all the, uh, the green pentagon here. I will continue to ride this. Right, write this in here. Most important is when you have the chart, follow the ATR stop lock. If it doesn't violate or go below that, stick to it. Let the profit run. Yeah, let the profit run here. Okay, so good. Okay, uh, seafood today in Nari, uh, in Nari got uh, apa itu? Candle make me chabot uh, afraid. Okay, let's take a look at in Nari. This is Amel switching to a daily chart. Oh yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there was well, there was a, a up trust, but there was never a huge sell off in here. Market is down to uh, one point nine percent again. Depending, if you are short term trader, I think you're doing the right thing because you have up trust. Market close below, you, it's time to close too. All right, but if the market were to come back in later on, and we have uh, another follow through, but right now the uh, Inari is showing weakness. Okay, that's fine. A small profit is good enough. I think that will be a great thing too. Okay. Now let's go on to the US market. Now the US market, I want to take a look is AMD because these are the one that is banging out on the AI. Okay, AI, and we want to switch on to a four hour chart. Okay, switch on to a four hour chart here. You can see there is opportunity for you to go back in, in here again. Right now, I think if the market were to break above the 114, I think that's a very good chance here. All right, 114, this is where you want to be going back to the in how about google okay google because those of you who don't know you can buy fractional investing right uh google already shot through with it here you can see 130 dollars already i think this one i wait for it to pull back a bit more to say around 127 then you want to think back to go in yeah okay we have uh may for uh uh limoy okay limoy we want to take a look at gbqls yes let's finish this with the ai stock first then next one is uh, microsoft microsoft open a bit lower right lower because it misses the target at three percent in here right because it did tell us tell everybody that the sales for its clouds were slower and that's usually the case is the market will go back down Build at the support here and then continue to push up and that will be a nice one. So switching to a four hour chart. Now uh, Microsoft is a very good play on the uh, AI in here. Right now, again, uh, on the four hour chart, you want to wait for the green pentagon and then decide to go back in from here onwards. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Uh, let's go on to the next one. We have is NVIDIA, one of the uh, biggest 
AI stock player, NVIDIA. All right, switch to a four hour chart here. You can see four hour also presents another opportunity. Yeah. Let's wait for the chart to come up. You can see it hasn't turned uh, the green pentagon on the four hour chart. So make sure you use the four hour chart here and then you'll be fine. Now let's take a look at the GBGA QRS. Kabunga AQRS. Alright, and the four hour chart you can see right now, uh, market is hitting double top here. You can see here. So you may want to get the double top here, you will see a lot of attrition. Means people will start to take uh, profit in here, market will pull back a bit more. Okay, so you have to be a bit careful here. Uh, market has turned up, but the, the key thing is to go in just after the green pentagon here. The green pentagon was here. If you could get in at 28 cents, take some profit. Huh? Yeah, you probably have 10% in this market time frame already. Okay, so we have explained the four hour chart here, just like we shared early on. That's Microsoft, a good opportunity, and also AMD all await the four hour green pentagon. Okay, so don't miss the boat. Use the four hour intraday chart for that matter. Right, and again, this is a play on the Microsoft. Now, one of the three major criteria will be the US six wave uh, bull market where we see expansion in PE and earnings growth and falling interest rate. that is all happening right now this is something that you want to be doing. and right now uh, the latest news on Microsoft is charging ahead with spending to serve AI demand so a lot of the future earnings will be on AI that's why we see the Microsoft can be a short-term trading as well can be a long-term trading and that's something very good AI you may if you look at it something I've shared last week is also on a small uh, bubble in here but who knows it may go higher if the interest rate uh, pause and subsequently we have the growth in terms of earning and then this market is likely to push up some more so right now you can see a lot of the Bitcoin even back to 2020 was also in the bubble but just be careful if you're trading short term that's why it's best to use the four hour Pentagon guider many of these is part of a stage two markup so when there's a chance of a pullback check out and look for those NS shares a lot of these things we covered in our orientation uh, training in here and also when the market is going up look for sign of weakness as we have seen in here so that way you really start to be uh, aware of where the uh, market resistance huh? resistant in here look for the green pentagon look for the yellow pentagon where you are pay attention to the price and of course you can also find some of these shares on the s p 500 too using the smart robbie right now so that's all we have for tonight right for as a summary in here um for the U.S. market, a lot of the AI stocks are there. Some of those I'll show you. Use the four-hour uh, four-hour chart to time your entry, so that way you will know. You can also set the alert in the trading view in here once you have, or you can also do a buy stop. The KLCI is getting more bullish since the green pentagon that we have. And again, for those uh, shorter terms, one use the four-hour intraday, right, and uh, do buy on the healthy pullback yeah, using the four hour chart for the KLC and the US market. So if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, feel free. Uh, definitely driven and powered by the Pentagon Guider in here uh, and also part and parcel of our volume spread analysis created uh, from the inventor, uh, Mr. Tom Williams in here and finally bring it to our show. So uh, don't forget this is our QR code uh, do share that with your friends and join in here and um, if you have any share you want me to take a look i'm happy to uh, look at eframe okay firstly i will look at uh, the uh, daily chart first eframe now is building a nice base here but again a uh, red pentagon already so uh, if it holds this level in here uh, this stocks uh, will pick up i see but right now the opportunity is uh, nevertheless it's not there you know it's just low volume in here that's likely to go sideways huh? like you go sideways if i find another opportunity i have i will move elsewhere okay make sure you buy those stocks that is sort of trending up in the stage two huh? like uh some of the stocks i talk about silver rich just watch it don't be too big and uh, try to run with it all right so that's all i have for tonight Thank you for coming. Uh, again, apologize for the earlier uh, power trip. 
And uh, I'll be back on Friday for our breakfast show. Join me then. All right. And for our members, I'll see you in our weekly training and also our monthly orientation. That's all. Thank you for coming and good night.